Well, developing this morning, a 16 month old toddler is hospitalized with a gunshot wound to his head. Now, police tell 7 Action News there was a 911 call from a home on North Maple Road in Ann Arbor Sunday afternoon about an infant with a head injury. Responding officers found the father as he was taking the toddler to the hospital. Officers and firefighters took over transportation of the toddler, rushing uh, the young person to the ER where doctors determined he'd been shot. Now, police have not said who fired the gun or where it came from or if anyone has been arrested. Well, starting today, Bedford Public Schools in Monroe County is implementing a mask mandate amid a concerning spike in coronavirus cases. Superintendent Dr. Carl Schultz says for the first time this school year, the district is being forced to temporarily convert to separate elementary classrooms to remote learning due to the number of coronavirus cases in each classroom. Schultz says cases are rising district wide with 38 new student and staff cases over just the last week. He says, quote, most concerning is the increased level of in classroom virus transmission from one individual to another, which previously had been experienced within the district at much lower rates. Meantime, students at three separate schools in Ann Arbor are expected to return to in classroom learning today. On Friday, Forsyth Middle School, Huron High School and Skyline High School all moved to remote learning for the day because of extreme staffing shortages. A spokesperson for Ann Arbor Public Schools says kids will return to in person today. Now, Ann Arbor, of course, is not the only district dealing with staffing shortages. Multiple districts are in need of teachers, substitute teachers and bus drivers. Starting today, Northville Public Schools is canceling bus routes on a rotating basis because it has fewer bus drivers than routes. It's a chilly, rainy, wet Monday, and the rain is going to be steady throughout this morning. Temperatures hover around 50 degrees all day. The wind this afternoon gets a little stronger out of the northeast 10 to 20 miles per hour. The strong winds hang through tonight. We'll get some gusts around 25, maybe 30 miles per hour tonight. Some spotty or lighter showers by sunset continuing overnight, low of 45.